is up you guys it is Katya Volks welcome back to the channel and welcome to another protein review now before we get into it have you subscribed yet have you liked the video why don't you go do that real quick and then we can get to it okay have you done it great so happy you joined the family anyways this is gonna be a pretty cool protein review i saw this pop up as like an ad on instagram and i was like that is freaking crazy i can't believe they made a protein like that so yes you saw the thumbnail but yes we are trying boba nutrition's vegan protein which is pretty crazy because it's taro flavor i love boba so much but honestly it's so hard to find places that will use a plant-based milk in their boba slushies and milk cheese so i was so so happy to find this because i love the flavor of taro if you love boba as well please comment that down below add a little boba emoji next to it but yes i am so so excited that someone came out with this now they did have one other flavor i believe it was like either matcha or milk tea however they ran out of it but they had luckily this one here so let's just jump right into it. So for one scoop, 35 grams, it's got 120 calories, two grams of fat, one carb, and 23 grams of protein. So that sounds pretty awesome. But let's see the breakdown of what's in it. This is interesting. It says medicinal ingredients, pea protein. So only pea protein. There's not like the brown rice protein. So as you know, as you've seen my other videos, when I break down proteins, I like to see something that has full amino profiles, especially if you are vegan and you're trying to build muscle, you know, like me. So I don't love the fact that it's just pro pea protein in it and I wish it was a bit more well-rounded. However, you do get most of your aminos from pea protein. It also says for the non-medicinal ingredients, dry taro flavor, dry ube flavor, red cabbage for the pigment, guar gum, monk fruit, and sea salt. So this is honestly very clean protein powder. So I'm really excited to try this out. So I'm gonna get myself just a jar, put some water in it, measure it out, and we are going to taste test this. All right, guys, so I accidentally grabbed the wrong lid for this jar. It was kind of leaking, so it's not perfectly mixed, but that is completely my fault. So, but we will still try it anyways. But otherwise, I mean, it mixed pretty well until I got the end, but only because I couldn't shake it as hard as I want to, regardless of a towel. All right, let's give this a try, regardless. Okay, I mean, I smell, I can smell the fact that it's like a pea protein powder, but it smells sweet. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. It's not what I remember taro tasting like. It's not bad. It's definitely indescribable, but I think it's a very light taro taste like i feel like it is there but it's so hard to describe because taro is a very distinctive flavor but it tastes good it tastes really really good i mean there, it's a very light taro taste um it's thick it's super creamy that's what i love about pea protein it's very creamy there's not any of that grit that some older protein powders might have vegan protein powders could have I really like it, but I'm not 100% getting taro as strong as I was hoping for. This would be kind of fun to drink with boba in it. I mean, I wouldn't know how to make it more taro. -y. It's not something you can easily come across in the store, but I do enjoy it very much because it's so unique in flavor. Like, I doubt any other protein powder is really gonna come out with the taro flavor. So hopefully when the other flavor that they have comes in stock, I will be able to try that with you. I'm gonna link them in the description below cause it's a pretty cool company and they have whey protein powder. So anyone who enjoys whey protein powder, give this a try. All right, 
I'm gonna finish this up and we'll give, get my final thoughts and review. All right, my friends, so the final review on the Boba Nutrition Taro Vegan Protein Powder. I would rate this a 7.5 out of 10, meaning that I do enjoy it because it tastes good, but I'm not getting the taro flavor as much as I'd like, and the fact that it's only pea protein based, so you're not getting all the essential aminos for a really solid post-workout pro post protein. However, that being said, if you have a well-rounded diet, you're gonna get the aminos that you need, and this is just gonna be a nice additive to have post-workout, but maybe not as like a, a meal replacement, for example. So yes, but I do definitely recommend trying it. It's, it's so unique. I, I mean, I didn't find any like, coupon code or anything of that sort so maybe you can find that online otherwise I did pay full price for it I'm gonna have to write it off on those taxes because tax season is just around the corner anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this review please do give this this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already let's make this channel grow please pretty please I would really love it and enjoy that. If you have recommendations for videos though, please do provide those down below. I am always wanting to best accommodate to what you guys like. Of course, I love these protein reviews and I hope you guys do as well. So yes, anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't know what I have planned yet, but we shall see. Have a great day. Go get those gains. Have a great workout if you're gonna go work out today and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.